Hey, good morning, everybody. I got the generator running right now, brewing up my coffee before I get on the road. I'm a Walmart parking lot here in Southern Florida, and I mean Southern. I'll actually pop a map up here so you can get an idea for where in Florida I'm at currently right now. Getting close to the bottom and uh, in relative to the, to the entire country as well. I still love it, but this Walmart, like many others, does not allow overnight parking. Um, I will give you a tip if you're going to be doing urban lot knocking like this at Walmart, Cracker Barrel, or Home Depot or something. Uh, be very careful if you plan on keeping your windows open overnight with just the screen to let some fresh air in. If you're near an island like this that has soaker hoses or sprinkler heads, uh, because if you go to bed, those come on and they might be misaligned. They can shoot right inside your RV and ruin your RV while you're sleeping or not in your RV or something. Uh, didn't happen to me, but they did have one that was bad a couple weeks ago that sprayed on the side of my RV. I would have to worry about it on this side where I don't have to worry about it over here on the concrete. So just another thing I've added to my list of things to be mindful for is that parking islands with sprinkler heads could be misaligned and spray onto your TV inside or something. I'm still under the weather, guys. Still got a really sore throat. Don't have a fever. Don't have a cold. I have a really sore throat, so bear, so bear with me. Been taking all of my emergency C and hot honey water, trying to trying to flush it out. But I've been uh, been been down and out for the count for a few days. So today, we'll get back on the road. All righty, here we go, Jacks man. I did move the buddy heater to the garage in the back part because we certainly aren't going to need it in Florida, not once here in the winter. I'd, I'd be happy if the temperature actually slipped down under 70 degrees at night. I just can't get any love there. No biggie though. I'm loving it. I mean, it's like this winter is going to be hotter than next summer. Probably. Let's we'll see. All right, Yoda, we got to flip a, uh, flip a bit. Flip, flip a U-turn here. Whee! Oh, big girl still got it. Oh, yeah! Don't get me wrong, I love Cracker Barrel. I love that they are so welcoming to RVs around the country. I hate that I have to park like this because, and this always happens by, I mean always, there is never a Cracker Barrel that doesn't do this, but they always have the five RV sites that say RV parking only. And what happens? The cars pull in and take it. So yeah, um, for no reason. It kind of sucks, but like I said, Cracker Barrel doesn't enforce the RV parking only spaces. They don't enforce that. And if you talk to the manager, they don't really care. So I guess there's that. So that's why almost every time I'm at a Cracker Barrel, you'll see me have to take up five spots like that because the cars, they're not very nice and they don't care. <laughs> see what I mean? There's ample car parking available, but they'd rather get you know, 20, 30 feet closer to the door and steal the RV spots. And you know, not whining, complaining, or screaming negativity, just pointing out a strange fact. One that anybody out there, whether you're in an RV or a car, most common sense would tell you to not steal the RV spots, you know, and then, <laughs> look what I did. Like, <laughs> you really only need half a brain to figure out some things. But then again, I don't give humans any credit anymore. Just move on. Let me pop the solar up, unload the bike, and then we'll go explore the city, guys. Oh man, I was hoping to get in here. It's a uh, definitely a private club, and you might not know it by this sign, Grand Oaks Golf Club, but this golf course is famous, actually. This is where they filmed most of the film, the 1980s film, Caddyshack, the cult classic with Rodney Dangerfield, Chevy Chase, and Bill Murray. 
Yeah, on these greens. Great film. I wish I could go in there, but... Oh wait, is that open? I just parked my Grom on the sidewalk. <laughs> I don't know what to do. I don't know what else to do. Kill the golfers! Wouldn't it be illegal to kill the golfers? No, the golfers! Kill the golfers! Uh, unfortunately, the clubhouse does not embrace the Caddyshack film, which I feel is a missed opportunity for. I mean, some Caddyshack magnets or something, or maybe there's some kind of copyright issue with the film producers or something. That nothing about Caddyshack here. and That's too bad. It's probably a nice golf course. I, uh... I used to carry around some clubs. I don't anymore. I got my seven iron. I do have my seven iron, but I don't, I don't carry around golf clubs to go do 18 holes anymore. Oh, and by the way, I haven't made any other modifications to the Grom since Panama City, except for... <laughs> Which comically totally fits the Grom. I mean, come on. It's, it's hilarious. People always smile sitting at a stop sign. They got their window rolled down. Makes everybody smile. <laughs> All right, let's keep going east. Yeah, so what's Florida well known for? Palm trees, sunshine, and, and uh, what's the other thing? Oranges? Maybe. Yeah, I'm gonna stop into this little tourist attraction gift shop, try to get me an orange magnet. Maybe some orange juice too. Yeah, it's warm today, but you know, on the bike, the wind in my face feels really good. Um, excuse me, Captain, what happened to your leg? Looks a little wooden, a little wooden there. I'm a little surprised. Uh, I didn't like any of their cliche Florida magnets. They didn't have anything unique. They're all stuff you can get from China and then just write Florida on it from any beach. So I'll hold off on getting the magnet for now. Okay, wait, for reference, we're about two miles from the ocean, just in like a little neighborhood. And I keep driving past these, like, like you have road, house, and then water, canal, and people, I have to believe some of these people are living on the boats because the boats have full hookups. It does say no trespassing private property, so I guess people own the waterfront, canal front, whatever you call it, but a lot of people here, I'm in Hollywood now, by the way, Hollywood, Florida, not Hollywood, California, and uh, yeah, a lot of people are, are living full-time in boats around here, which is pretty cool. I don't, I don't think I could do it. It's not that it smells really, really bad, it's just the rocking back and I get motion sickness anyway, so probably wouldn't do very good trying to sleep at night with that, but yeah. Oh, you're cool. Oh, you're cool. And then slam on the brakes at the stop sign. Oh, that's cool. Yeah, cool. And we're near an airport. <laughs> My throat though. Okay, let's go to the beach. Got a little delay here getting to the other side because <laughs> drawbridge is up. Yeah, so we'll wait for a boat to go through and then we'll get to the ocean, hopefully. Yeah, it lifts up pretty high in the air. I think we're good now. The boat just got through. Well, there is a cool little marker here at Dania Beach and it says that it's Broward's first city here. Very cool, and guess what? We got some nice water right over here. Oh man, look at that water. Oh. I love you too, Florida. Feelings mutual. Just wanted to explore a little bit outside. I don't like being away from Jax, even though I can check on him with the cameras and the, the temperature inside the RV. Um, and I did get a boogie board. I forgot to tell you guys. A little body board from Walmart. A little $10 one, but the waves have just not been looking right. And plus, I'm not feeling good. Like, I'm really not feeling good, so... Uh, we'll, we'll do some other activities closer to the RV today. Felt good to get out and ride the bike. Only brought one water and I already finished it, so. Are you chillaxed or what, man? You glad I'm home? Oh. What if I said I have access to the food? The cat food? Oh, okay. Keeping it nice and cool in here. And hey, by the way, this is not really a, a typical day for me. Like, if I'm actually going out to film content and explore, <coughs> usually it's, uh, I'll be out later and then park at night. But today just worked out to park in the morning 
spend the night here and exploring the bike a little bit. Uh, I am going to sit down while I've got lots of solar and power and edit a little video just to see where I'm at, and then uh, I'll get back to you, okay? All right. Uh, hey, everybody. I decided not to go out and do anything else today. I'm just going to keep up on my water intake and emergency and just just <coughs> try to get over this cough, this sore throat, because traveling and filming and not keeping up with my health, it's not going to go away. I just need one more day to just try to get it out of my system. I feel crummy, crummy. So instead, I thought I would take this time to talk about a couple things just to get my viewers updated. Something I want to talk about, but also to say that there's some rumors going around, and some of them, some of them are true. Some of them are some, some leaked information. So let me first go back and say I have changed a lot in the last year. I have changed an awful lot, and you guys have seen that change in me. I started off the year uh, dating and traveling with my girlfriend Angela at the time, and by the time the end of March hit, I had got to a point in my life where I physically said, I can't balance YouTube in a relationship. And that was that was a fact at the time. I literally could not figure out how to, how to do that as a YouTube vlogger. I was busting my butt for this channel, for the content, for the trips, filming all day, editing at night, and I put that relationship on the back burner. I, terrible, I did. Well, as it turns out, uh, here in January 2019, Angela and I have uh, been talking again and although I don't want to speak for her too much in this video I just want to tell you where I'm at um, I had convinced her that uh, she's gonna be my new number one priority moving forward uh, trying to give this relationship a second chance and I mean that a hundred percent you've already seen some changes from me probably but the entire month of January I've eased you into one video every three days instead of one video every other day. And I don't think a lot of people even noticed. I'm still producing that quality content, but I'm not busting my butt as hard as I used to. And moving forward with the Thousand Trails Pass and a couple other things, I have talked about slowing down my pace and actually taking a minute to simply enjoy life. I mean, it's not all about work all the time. Um, I do really care about this channel. I'm not going to upload garbage, but I think that putting a video out once every three days is fine. Many of my subscribers have plenty of other people they follow and videos they can watch from the desert right now to fill in the caps between my Florida videos right now. But all you need to know right now is that I'm going to be making some changes. Uh, Angela is back in my life and I'm really happy about having a second chance, putting her first priority wise, but this channel's not going to change that much. If you've enjoyed the video series so far here in the month of January, you're not going to see much of a change. This channel will still be Jackson and I on the road, although I welcome and encourage Angela to be a part of it in any way she can. She does like being in front of the camera. She does have her own YouTube channel, which I hope she continues to, to make videos on the road. Uh, she has a senior cat, Drezzy, that she travels with in her Class B van right now. And I'm not going to get into all the logistics right now because I don't know what the future holds. I don't have a master plan. We have not talked that far ahead. We just know that we want to travel together. Finally, I have made some, some life changes and then I'm willing to put her first where, well, she probably deserved to be from the start last year. So that is my update on that. I do think that by the time I get past Miami, I'll be talking about her a little more and there might be some confusion to, for people who haven't seen this part of the end of this video. So just wanted to explain that <coughs> and address that I wanted to so that you know where I'm at okay all right guys I'll try to get better and I will see you guys from Miami in about three days okay. bye guys